hello and welcome to a very wet and windy and rainy Friday here in Wales and very welcome to my channel this is Nina from the Forgotten Bookshop Girl and this is a quick Etsy shop update I've already listed two of these um, hoping to list the third one today my internet is incredibly slow and it seems to take forever to upload um, photographs so I really need to get in touch with my internet provider later to see if the problem is on my side or if it's on their side. But all of my devices are struggling, so I'm thinking it's um, their problem. Yes, so anyway, I've got these three. They're very similar. Um, it's Tim Holtz um, scrapbook paper as the cover. And because they're kind of all journey related, I tried to make them all kind of a little bit like sort of travel related um, uh, traveler's notebooks. Let's just get started with one. So they've got a similar setup of, um, of pages but they do have kind of like different um, bits and pieces that um, I put in them. So let's start with this one. This is um, all about um, kind of like rail journey. And so I've got a little pocket at the front and you've got here a little label where you can put your name on or um, a date on when you started it. Then a little um, envelope. I've got this um, words won't come to me today. It's a uh, tracing paper I printed with an old map and I've got this for all of them and then a variety of papers there's coffee dyed paper and this was packaging paper and the obviously lined paper then I've got each one has got three photographs they are copies of um, real vintage photographs that I own and I tried to match them kind of in a way where I could be thinking that these two ladies have traveled up to Scotland and now you know they're having their picture taken with this gentleman who's playing or is about to play the bagpipes. Um, more line paper, then a book page and a little tuck spot and you've got this railroad pass and another photograph and it says in St Ives and again you could be thinking about somebody having travelled to St Ives and maybe taking a photograph of their uh, I don't know, their hotel or the bed and breakfast they're staying at. And this is uh, graph paper, or coffee dyed, and uh, from a notepad. And this is a different kind of um, graph paper. I left the pages, or most of them, it, basically this is for writing in. And I just added a bit of ephemera to kind of go with it, so you could use this as a travel journal. I've got this uh, little envelope in there, so you've got even... Um, of, like another place where you can put the things and, and this comes from it's a reprint of uh, a catalogue I absolutely love this one and that was sort of what's the middle this is the other side of the envelope and we've got another fold out here just to go quickly through the pages and this is uh, um, a little cart from a cigarette you know the cigarette uh, collecting uh, cards there's a name for it but I, I blame it on probably the weather I don't know right another photograph you can say um, that you know they're somewhere at the seaside traveled there by train of course and then here at the back you've got another tuck spot. So that was the train journey one. Let's put that over here. And the next one is all about uh, airplanes and like traveling by air. So uh, beginning, again a tuck spot. And I've got this and an envelope. I might um, put a little label here. Don't know why I didn't do it with this one. Um, again, the tracing paper, and as you can see, the setup of the pages is basically very similar. 
Then we've got these two here. Uh, I thought either you could think that, you know, he's a pilot and um, that's his girlfriend or fiance or wife or whatever you want, to, want them to be, or both of them are traveling somewhere by plane. You can mm, come up with any stories you like. Then again, Oh, this is actually not a, this is kind of like a miniature little vintage um, postcard. The uh, Tower Bridge in London. And again, we've got the tuck spot. And this is the copy of a, uh, uh, an envelope I've got. I just made that into a tuck spot. Obviously, there's the book page. And I've got this fold out. And then here is another photograph, it's the same lady we have seen before. And again, a page from this fantastic catalogue. And more coffee stained paper. And then we've got the other half of the envelope and the fold out and more pages some really nice markings on the coffee dyed papers and then we've got a photograph of the Big Ben in London so either somebody lives there or somebody's traveled there we can think of a story that suits you and another tuck spot here so that's the second one this is um, the third uh, Traveller's Notebook. So this is always a steam liner, so it's all about travelling by sea. And I've got these bits in here. Uh, I've got a different, because I've got a bigger kind of pocket at the back, I put this in as a pocket in the front. And this is a picture of, again, a copy of a picture. You can just about see there are two people here in the deck chairs, and you can just think this is the ocean liner. And there, on there, and we've got them up. And again, similar, oopsie, similar setup for the pages. There we go. And and this time, yeah, this is again a vintage um, uh, repro reproduction of a vintage um, postcard. And again, here, tuck spot, and I've used a copy of uh, of a letter. And again, book page, the fold out, and same setup. And then I've been trying to find um, photographs where we could see that people are kind of on a, an ocean liner or some some something to do with the with the sea. So um, I just thought this kind of looked as if they were on deck somewhere. So I've got that in here. And a marvellous one with these old um, uh, cameras. Again, the um, catalogue. I got the fold out here. And then I've got these two gentlemen, and I just thought maybe just either they're picking somebody up or they're just parked and getting out or um, just getting into their car to go to. Uh, to catch um, their boat to somewhere. And then here we are at the back, and as you can see for this one I made kind of a bigger pocket at the back. Right, so uh, these are the three. As I said, two of them have already been listed. I think the only one that needs to be listed is the airplane one. The other two have been listed and there's a link below uh, to the listings. Okay, um, I've got a, a tutorial, well, kind of a tutorial um, where I'm playing around with an idea, but you could use it as a tutorial, I guess. It's kind of like a creating something a video that still needs to be edited. So I don't know, I, I'm guessing this one will be out quicker because it's easier to edit than the other one because the other one is quite long. Um, so I'm trying to 
see if I can find ways where I can just shorten it a little bit. So we'll see. Anyway, I'm hoping to get more videos out. Again, I know I say this every time, but just to assure you, it's, it's going to happen. I'm trying to, to work on it. So um, have patience with me. And thank you very much for sticking around and have a fabulous weekend. See you soon. Bye.